Now can I go see the Haunted Mansion? Why not? That's a good idea. Oh, listen, first I'd like to change my clothes. Right, yeah. guys, you better change too. Right. Wait, is he with me? Well, it looks as though everyone wants to go see the Haunted Mansion. And that's good because it's such a great ride. But while everyone's on their way over there, I thought you might like to see a film on how it was built and how some of the tricks were done. I'll show you that film and then take you on a trip through the Haunted Mansion. When word got out of Walt Disney's plans for a Haunted Mansion, the Ghost Relations Department at Wed Enterprises was deluged with inquiries from assorted ghosts and haunts who were dying to get a look at it. An expert staff of master illusioneers worked for more than 10 years planning everything down to the minutest detail. This is the endless hallway, a misty passage beckoning you to enter, but offering no end. Of course, a model had to be made for the ghost's approval. Come along and follow us. Who knows? Someday you may want to live here yourself. No haunted mansion would be complete without a seance room. This one was designed as a cozy gathering place where the spirits could practice chain rattling, screeching, and the ever popular horn blowing. The Imagineers at Wet Enterprises, many of whom were formerly animators at the Disney studio, worked overtime to make these tiny real figures arrive at the haunted mansion as ghosts. Seems to work well enough, doesn't it? Suitable sleeping quarters had to be prepared. You might call this a model apartment. As the ghosts began to arrive, individual problems began to pop up. A skeleton crew of technicians was kept busy full time, attending to the peculiar needs of the future inhabitants. No stone was left unturned. Some of the ethereal inhabitants were much too shy to be seen by mortals, and mechanical substitutes had to be devised to make them visible. What you are seeing is a man operating a machine that activates the mechanical features of this head. Or is it the other way around? Well, whatever it is, it seems to work. At least, I think that's what this fellow is trying to tell us. With the aid of these banks of electronic equipment, even the household pets were animated, including these two friendly creatures. A system was developed by the people at Disney to control the movements of the ghostly inhabitants of the haunted mansion through the use of scalloped edge discs. Roller cams followed the depressions and shoulders producing realistic movements that helped to bring our spooky tenants to life, if you'll excuse the pun. This system was called audio animatronics, which combined three-dimensional animation and sound through the use of electronics. By stacking these discs, a number of functions could be controlled at the same time. As a matter of fact, Every movement and sound of all the tenants of the Haunted Mansion is directed in this manner. Is it any wonder that it took more than 10 years to complete the job? An interesting phenomenon that we seem to have no control over is this old gentleman who just can't seem to keep his eyes off of you no matter where you go. Probably the single most difficult problem faced by the illusionaires at WED was that posed by some of the more bashful boarders who refused to show their faces. Some of the busts even appeared to be unfinished. The head was there, but the face was missing. Ah, but you know how it is. At Disney's, there's always a couple of faces left lying around on the floor. As the moon climbs high over the dead oak tree, Creepy creeps with eerie eyes. Grim grin and ghosts come out to socialize. Finally, everyone was brought together. 
They all seem to be in good order and capable of taking care of themselves. Although some needed a hand. Or the latest in haunting hairdos. Everything was finally ready. Musicians were recruited. A cast party was held. And some last minute repairs were made. It was so exciting that this poor fellow lost his head. The Haunted Mansion was an idea of Walt Disney's. You see, he began to worry where ghosts were going to live after all the old houses were torn down to make room for freeways. He decided that if someone didn't give him a house to live in, why, they'd just disappear. So Mr. Disney built a Haunted Mansion. Oh, boy, but I'm sure glad it's not Halloween tonight. Well, how come, Donnie? Well, there'd be so many ghosts here, there wouldn't be any room for us. Oh, boy. Come on, the line's moving. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. I am your host, your ghost host. Oh, that's wild. Oh, look at the pictures moving. Hey, sold this one. Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? Man. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't this room be great to have at home? I know. Yeah. Something else is happening. The whole room is changing. The top of the wall was about this high when I came in. Now look. I know. like to be here alone and hear a voice calling you from the other end of the hall. Would you go, huh? No, thanks. Wouldn't that be great to have at home on Halloween? Can't you see someone ringing the doorbell? And when it opens, that's what they'd see inside. <laughs> I really don't think I'd care to have that in my living room at any time of the year. And ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken the spirits with your tambourine. <laughs>
Hey, where's Donnie? 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 Hey. Donnie? Uh. Donnie! 